Hello there, welcome to Genesis Models. My name is Bob Wardron, and in this video, we're going to be having an inbox review of Ravel's new release of the 135th scale British 4x4 109 Land Rover. Now, um, this kit um, actually is a very, very old kit. It is by Tamiya originally, um, it was made in 1976, right? So, very, very old. Um, but what Ravel's done, they've reboxed it 2015, um, and apparently there are new parts to it. Um, the other thing is with this kit as well, it is um, around about the £17.99 mark. Now, the instructions they are kind of sort of they feel like they're on recycled paper, um, you know, usual explanation, but the instructions I mean, you know, this is a fairly easy kit. There's not really, you know, any options. It is straightforward. There's really nothing to write home about with the instructions. Um, we've got two different um, markings for the British Army, as well as I do believe, do believe we've got the Royal Danish Army as well in there. So, you know, you've got a few options in there. The decals, if we bring you in, they are uh, printed in Italy, um, so this could potentially be cartographer decals. They do look and feel like them, um, you know. So I, I'd say you shouldn't have any problems. And as you can see, I mean, they all do look nicely in registry. Um, nice, neat, good colours. Um, should well, really good decals actually. Um, moving along with the sprues, just to kind of blast through. Um, the the actual fabric um top to the land rover is i mean we've got sort of like a nice rough sort of fabricy detail going on just on there um but then you know fabric and plastic um you know it doesn't 100 go realistically to be honest when it comes to like plastic models and trying to represent fabric by using um plastic so um yeah you know i'm maybe scratch building but do you know what it doesn't look too bad there seems to be a nice couple of ripples in there and everything um but yeah mm, you know not too bad um moving along um a few things of note um here we go <clears throat> the detail on this kit well you know for something that's 1976 is pretty good it is very crisp still it is um you know we've hardly got any flash for a 1976 kit we've got nice detail on our wheels good treads looking good as you can see there a bonnet you know again nice detail going on in there as well um, ejector pin marks they are in nice places you know hopefully as you can see um you know like okay inside where are you going there you go inside you know it's you know we've got some ejector pin marks in there they're not too bad but um there's not much detail in regards to inside of this kit um you know so it's probably something you'd want to close down unless you want to do some scratch building but you know seats they are very bland very plain there isn't really anything to it um you know i can't remember if there is like a photo etch set for this there probably is um although you know our suspension is rather nicely detailed very crisp um you know and just no problems with the molding of that um We've got our steering wheel and a few bits of internal detail here. It does look very bland, but to be honest with you, I mean, <laughs> they're not very exciting inside these Land Rovers. Trust me, I've drove them. They are pretty boring um, and not much going on inside anyway. Um, but hopefully, as you can see, like all the sort of the underside, um, there is quite a bit of nice detail with exhaust pipes and all that kind of stuff to sort of play around with um i think that might be a footwell of some sort um can't be sure um but yeah i mean apart from that looking at this kit um i am quite impressed at the fact that it is 1976 17 pounds 99 seems to be a fairish price our clear parts 
hopefully as you can see there we've got no kind of nasty problems with say a cobwebbing effect or anything like that they're looking very nice crystal clear i don't know if you can pick it up on camera but there is like a bit of a wavy ripply effect slightly in these um which i suppose isn't that bad because i mean these are uh, vehicles not aircraft that don't have to be beautifully crystal clear because I mean you're probably going to want to mud up the the windows and kind of do that whole window wiper sort of effect on there so they're probably going to get quite dirty anyway uh, but yeah clear parts look good as well so overall you know this is you know a rather small kit um, it's I'd say it's a good one for a beginner because you know it's something that you can put together pretty quick pretty easy instructions are straightforward no problems you know there's quite a bit of detail on here uh, and the decals are really good as well so yeah it is a well recommended kit um, again it's 17 pounds 99 you can basically get the same kit if you go out and look around um, I think Atelier does this as a rebox of the Tamiya kit as well and another company did maybe they might do cheaper ones or something like that um, but yeah I really do like this kit I wouldn't mind building it myself so there you go there is the British Land Rover 109 um, I hope you've enjoyed this inbox review so until next time my name is Bobby Waldron and I hope you've enjoyed <laughs>